What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Ocarina of Time. Let's play this. This is look at the mini map. It totally looks like a guy flipping off his middle fingers at us. Can't you kind of see that? Am I crazy? Probably. Um, in the last episode, we learned that all the Gorons were captured. Oh no! And that a little baby Goron that was also named Ling, named after me, of course, because I'm kind of amazing. <laughs> Let's face it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, that the shopkeeper was hiding, but he just turned out to be in here, so... Just, he looks bored, in fact. He gives zero fucks that all his brothers have been captured. Welcome. Lisa, let's buy bombs, we're gonna need them. Sure, let's go all out, I don't even care. Screw it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, he looks so happy. We can get 200 rupees from this, but I really don't understand why you would ever want to do that. We could also get a red potion, should we do that? Sure, why not? We have the money. Uh, if you drink this, you'll recover your life. This is a single dose. Sure. I- This is probably the first time I've ever bought a potion. Like, for, in any Zelda game- Well, that's probably not true. Probably did an experiment- Experiment? Experiment! But I've probably never actually bought one for the sake of, like, future healing. Because seriously, you almost never need them. But, you know, you, you might as well do it. So, I was also told that there should be a secret passage in Darunia's room over here. So hopefully that's true, and I don't have to smack a bitch! Can we please destroy this? Thank you! Holy Bolognese! I love the Bolognese. Oh, I even got some money back. Great. So I was told they're behind a statue? I mean, this kind of looks like a stanch statue. It kind of looks like a monkey, to be honest. It's probably supposed to be a Goron, but that's a really weird representation of a Goron. <clears throat> Alright, oh, that that's it? We're just going in now? Link, it's so hot in here! Link, it's so hot in here! We can't stay here for long! Oh, really now? Because we have the Goron Tunic now, we can do... this! And now I am just the same Link, but just red, and I blend in. I blend into my environment. I can just walk up to the boss, as long as I keep my shield against, like, the, the thing. They'll never see me. Shh! Damn it! You can see my shield! <laughs> That's really stupid. Creep, please. I want. Let me break the. Dude! I, let me break the damn pot! Holy crap! Can we pull this up? So, this is actually the Death Mountain Crater. The Seriously? This is actually Death Mountain Crater that we were in earlier. Seriously? And remember that heart piece that was up there? And. Oh, yeah, we could see, see the sky from here. That's really cool. We were over there before. Right over there, I mean, over there. Remember we got the harpies from in there? Yeah, yeah, I totally remember. I remember! I don't know what's this way. I do have a guess, though. Oh, I could check it. Check real good. <laughs> oh, no. We've seen that before. I don't understand why Navi wants to check it for when, I mean, there's clearly nothing. So we can't pull up any of these rocks, but they're clearly in the way, so how do we get rid of them? Well, maybe we'll just come back later when we have something that can destroy them. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, interest. Whoa! Holy crap! I almost fell in there. Interesting. So if you came here before the hookshot, we wouldn't have been able to do crap all because, well, the bridge is out. But we could use the hookshot, and even though that totally looks fine, well, I guess it's not. I didn't even remember that till now. Whoa! Where'd you even come from? I don't think there's anything above you besides the sky. It is something that grows over time. It is a penis? A true friendship. Feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. What are you talking about? Seriously, I don't know what the heck this person is talking about. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the ball, bolero of fire. Play your stupid bolero. I kind of messed it up there. But whatever. It's weird cuts. That ass though. She shakes ass. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm boy. Mmm girl. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I've learned the balloon fire. 
Look at Sheik's one red eye. What's under her hair there? Is there another eye? Is she blind in that eye? Hmm, we never know. Link, I'll see you again. No, you all, let's face it. <gasps> she caught fire! I mean, he, I mean, it, I mean, um. Goodbye, mysterious figure that has weird arms that, hey, did we see Impa do that before? Is it Impa? Has Impa somehow disguised? <laughs> yeah! Has Impa somehow disguised as they have to do this? I believe we could also hook shot to this right here. Wait, 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 let's, ex let's examine this for a second. Sheik fell right there. Is there anything above? No, there's nothing. <laughs> Where the heck could she have came from? I mean, I guess maybe where the heart piece is, but it's like she fell straight down there. She didn't jump from there to there. She fell straight down. And I keep saying she as if I know, but I don't know. But I do know, but I don't know. Um, until I can't reach that. If should we want to get out of here? Um, is there anything else here? I mean, there's this crap. What's this way? I actually don't know what the heck. Is what is this way? Why can't we? Oh, I was gonna say, why can't we go on there? Why was it so difficult to get on? What is. I have no idea what is this way. Whoa! A bubble bot. Whoa! And how do we get over there? There's just a red rupee. There's like 25 rupees there that I probably don't really care about, to be honest. Holy crap, that scared me. I didn't expect it to come back. Those are. Those assholes. You can't even get hit by those. They're just there to scare the poop out of you. Uh, nobody can get hit there! And then I just black out. Probably I'm dead. Well, at least we have no scary death animation in this game like every other Zelda game. Okay, can we actually freaking do something? <laughs> Should probably get to it. So, yes, now we have the Bolero of Fire. It'll teleport us to this platform right over here. Hmm, yes, indeed. I was looking for something. Is it over here? Might be over here. Another weird ring of rocks, kind of. It's not even really a ring of rocks, now is it? I could have sworn there was a soil patch in here. Like another one. But maybe not. Well, that ladder rendered did not make the last one. I don't even remember, like, any of this place. Oh! I expected that to bring me to the loading screen, not go straight down to death. Just, oh, here we go! Okay, I was gonna say, is this, what are we gonna- There we go. The fire temple. So, the fire temple is actually pretty freaking scary to me. Oh, holy crap! There we go. I wanna, I wanna, is this the version I think it is? No, it's not. Okay. So, in the original- Whoa! There's the bosky right there and a very scared Goron. Can we talk to you? B -b Please don't eat me! If you eat something like me, you'll get a stomach ache! Don't be sorry. Oh, look who she is. It is in this one. Oh, maybe not. I'm getting confused right now, actually. No, okay. So, in the first version of this game, the music was slightly different, as in it says. <laughs> they had like actual chanting. What it turned out to be, I don't even think Nintendo realized what they were putting in. It was Islamic, and it roughly translated to something like "Praise Allah, Praise Allah, He is the only one true God" or something like that. And the chanting was the most creepiest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. And I'm really happy that I am not playing that version right now because I don't even think I could put up with that because it is seriously terrifying to me. Um, if you've listened to, or if you've watched enough of my videos, you'll know one of my fears is creepy chanting. I don't know why, but it is. Who's there? Is that you, Link? Oh, it's really Link. You've grown so big since I last saw you. Oh, no, that's not his voice. What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> this creepy talk just kind of threw my mind. Uh, I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you, but now's not the time. Getting off is causing trouble on Death Man again. Yes, revive the evil ancient dragon of Lavinia! On top of that, he is going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to other races that might resist him! And that fire-breathing fuckhead escapes from the mountain, all my rule will become a burning wasteland! I'm going ahead to try and seal up the evil dragon! I'm concerned though, because I don't have the legendary hammer, but I have no choice! Blink! I'm not going to do this!
This is my sword, brother! Well, I'm trying to deal with the dragon! Please save my people! The prisoner's cells are in the opposite direction! I'm counting on you, Link! That actually is kind of... Like, sound makes kind of sense. He locks the door behind him somehow. I don't understand why, but... I guess the reason is, though, that... He wants us to save his people while he distracts the dragon, which, I mean... When you think of it as in like, oh, we should fight them together, but I mean, it does kind of make sense that this dragon is super powerful, and for all he knows, like, he, he's going in there knowing he's probably gonna die. He just wants me to save his people. That's sweet. Uh oh, there we go. That was easy. Maybe the leg I shouldn't leave switches out like this for save the gorods. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. Not even a thank you, really? In order to get to the room where Darunia went, you have to do something about the pillar stuck in the ceiling. How do you even know he went? Like, you were just curled up in a ball here, shivering. You would have never have known that. Like, you're too busy being scared, man. Find a path that leads to the room above the ceiling right away. Oh, he just walked through me and he does this weird Goron hug animation thing as he walks away. <laughs> What's in here? Is it a key? Aha! He found the small key! There we go. Uh, is that what we can do in here for now? Can we jump in there? What happens if we jump in there? I kind of want to try, to be honest. I don't know if that goes down to another floor or not. Ooh -ah. Ooh -ah. See, I don't really remember very much about this game. Can I do anything? Can I jump in there? I don't think so, but I kind of want to try it. It doesn't look like. Let's try it anyways. Nope. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. I was gonna say. Do we not take... Do we not take damage? We don't take damage and walk in a lap. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I mean, that's kind of overpowered if we didn't. It just takes a second to react, I guess. Alright, is there a locked door that way? I don't know. <laughs> so the first few temples, like up to Jabu Jabu, they're pretty easy, and then after that, my mind goes pretty much blank on the temples of this game. I mean, I remember some, like, very memorable rooms. For the most part, like the general layout of this temple, I don't really remember. Is there anything up here? Mm. Oh, you know none? Oh, okay, there's two fairies in there. Well, that's kind of strange. Um, well, we kind of already have a potion, so whatever. I mean, a fairy would be a lot better to have, but... Whatever, I'll keep it as a, I'll keep it as a red potion. We did buy it, we might as well use it. Hmm, okay, so... I guess let's go back to the first room since that seems to be the only direction we could go. Go through all the other locked doors. Oh my head! I didn't think I thought for sure we'd be able to do that full roll without smacking our face. But no, alas, it does not seem so. What is up here? Is that just more bats? No. Dude! I didn't want to jump off there! Mm. Alright, let's go. I hate you! Freaking Keese. Keese disease. I don't even know what that's about. I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, I think Josh Jefferson says that. I don't understand why it's- oh, no. No, wait, wait, is it- It might be Nintendo Capri Sun, actually, that says Keese Disease. It's like, what? What does that even mean? <laughs> Keese Disease? It's probably a reference to something I didn't understand or something. I don't know. I've always wondered why Nintendo Capri Sun is so quotable compared to, like, everyone else. He just makes up his own references, or not really references, he makes up his own jokes and then people just go along with him whether they understand, like, a reference he's making or not. It's so strange to me, but it's like, he is so iconic in the Let's Playing world, at least from Nintendo, um, subcategory of it. Like, with there's just, like, all his catchphrases, like, can you think of anyone that has more catchphrases than Nintendo Capri Sun? I doubt it. He just has so freaking many. Ooh, Song of Tai block. Uh, that's not gonna block this door, is it? Should we go this way first? What's in this room? Is this a dead end? Does this go anywhere? I don't even recognize- Oh, I'm kinda glad I came here first, and... I don't know if I play the Song of Time, what's gonna happen. And I don't wanna freaking mess anything up. Yay, we got another Spocky! Alright, what do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Goron? Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Here's a secret for saving me! A wall that you can destroy with the Goron's special crop will still differ than a regular wall if you hit it with your sword. Okay. Just because it's hollow, it's like looking for studs in the wall, you know. 
It's like if you tap the wall, you can hear if there's a stud behind you or not based on the sound it makes. Which I've never been able to really do, to be honest. It's like it's like one of those dad superpowers, you know. <laughs> That's actually so true. Um, it's like only dads can know how that work. Uh, what is this? Is it? No, uh, let's look it up. I was gonna try, but I'm like, we might as well look it up so I don't waste a whole bunch of time. Right A down. Right A down. Right A down. No! There we go. I guess I pressed the wrong note at first or something. Do, 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 do. Out of sync. There's a sculpture. In my notes, that says there's a block before it, or there's a saga time block, so I'm assuming that's what this might be. Maybe, I hope. I don't like this very much. Ha! Ah! Weird block things! Does Navi tell me about these? Dude, just let me. I wanna, I wanna investigate! Fine then. Oh my good lord, hurry up. Just explore to me, please. I don't understand how any of that. What the heck is that thing? An enemy that eats shields in certain clothes. Beat it quickly, get your gear back. I think if you don't beat it quick enough. Here, I think it sucks you in too. Oh, no, no! No, 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 baby. No, 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 no. Your shield is gone. Your tunic while you're wearing has also been taken. Please tell me I get it back if I kill it quick enough. I think if you wait long enough, it actually, like, digests it or something. Give me the things. Oh, my good lord. That's terrifying. I think, yeah, if you wait long enough, like, you actually lose your stuff, and you have to, like, rebuy it and all that. Minus, like, the Master Sword, actually, I guess any of the swords, if it took your sword or something. Can, it, can they even take your sword? Maybe it only takes shields and clothing. Anyway, ow. I said that was a preemptive ow before I even got hurt, but I knew it was gonna happen. Whoa, there we go. Look at that cool back kick thing. <laughs> Anyways, in this strange, kind of cozy room, to be honest, it feels really cozy. Uh, with the minus that weird face looking at us. Is that even a face? Might just be a symbol. Kind of looks like a face, so. These symbols look really like. Oh, I'm way too close to that. Those symbols kind of look Jap. Not Japanese. They kind of look like Egyptian or something, too, don't they? Like hieroglyphics, you know, yo. In the next episode, we'll continue on with the Fire Devil. Thanks so much for watching. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later. See ya! Oh, stop showing off, Linkus.